Hi, this video we're going to look at an example to solve centroid of this particular shape you see here. And uh, look at this shape. Uh, we can decompose to some common shape we know. For example, uh, we can see there is a rectangle right here, right? So basically it's a rectangle. Then we also have a see a semicircle that is on the top of this rectangle. Then we also see there's a triangle below the x-axis right here. Then we are going to minus the circle right here, right? So those are the four shapes we, we observe. Now thinking about in the previous video we're talking about in order to find the centroid, which is a point, the point is defined by x and y coordinate. So x bar and y bar is going to be our centroid we're solving. And in order to find a coordinate, we have to have a coordinate system, which this problem already gave it to us. Um, x right here and y right here, right? Then remember the centroid have a formula there are two, but for the common shapes, we are going to use this uh, formula. X bar is going to be summation of X tilde, delta A, over summation of all those area. For this problem, there are four shapes, right? One, two, three, four. So those are four delta A, four different area. Y, tilde, y bar is going to be summation of all the area. It's the same those two, but the numerator here is y tilde delta a. And make a note, what's x tilde and y tilde? They are the centroid for each area, which is delta a. For this problem, there are four of them, four area. So you're going to have four different centroid. For example, here would be four centroids x tilde y tilde since there are four areas okay so understand have a very clear clarity about this formula we can go ahead and solve it right in order to solve this i think the best way for us is going to make a table the table we are about to make is Thinking about, I'm gonna copy this one down here so you can see better. We're going to create, because we want to find x bar and y bar, we need to find x tilde and uh, y tilde for all shapes. So, first shape we're going to look at is rectangle. The second one we're having is semicircle. Then we'll add this triangle then we'll minus this circle so those are the four shape help us make our rows then we all need to find x tilde we also need to find y tilde once we find that we also need to find delta A, because that's also in the formula, delta A, right? So let's go ahead and try that. So for this rectangle right here, the dimension is 120 and 80. So the area will be 120 times 80. 9600 millimeter square and how about x tilde if I were using a red dot x tilde is going to be the centroid of this rectangle only rectangle your symmetry is right in the center so you are going to read the coordinate for that red dot so that will be 60 right here half right of 120 and y tilde will be half of 80 so it's 40 
So we figure out the rectangle. Now let's move on to look at um, semicircle. So when I have a semicircle, which is on the top of that, then I'm going to talking about one thing about semicircle, which we haven't talked about. Semicircle is unlike the circle. Circle centroid is right in the center. That's easy. However, semicircle is not going to be right here, right? Because that's not right. It's going to be right here. Okay. So where is that located? It's going to be located in terms, it's symmetric on the y-axis, it's on y-axis if I draw my xy this way, and how far above this flat line it is, this is something people already calculated, and that's something you want to remember, it's 4r over 3 pi. So remember that value, because you're going to use a lot. That's a semicircle centroid. So in that situation, we know, come over to this green semicircle on the graph, right? We know semicircle, the centroid, is going to be somewhere here, right? And uh, we know this from here to here is 4r over 3 pi. And in terms of x-axis, it's going to be right in the middle. So here, you're going to read this dot, or this red dot, xy coordinate, based on this xy coordinate, right? Now, so what's x coordinate going to be? It's going to be half of the 40, which here is 20, so that's going to be 20. However, for the y coordinate, for this red dot, it's going to be read from here to there. So watch out for that one. That coordinate is not only just 4r over 3 pi. It's going to be 4r over 3 pi plus this 80 right here. So it's 80 plus 4r. What's our r for this semicircle? It's 60. That's going to be our y coordinate. So here I'm going to put into calculator 80 plus 240 divided by 3. So it's 80 divided by pi. I have value around 105.48. Okay. Then now we're going to figure out this is semicircle area. We know area for a circle is pi r squared. R again is 60. However, it's semi, so it's divided by 2. Put in the calculator, 60 squared times pi divided by 2. We'll have answer as 56.52. Okay, now move to our third shape which is going to be our triangle. Now, triangle, it's another thing I want to talk about. For triangle, where it is the centroid. Triangle here, triangle, the centroid for the right triangle is going to be, based on intuition, you know it's going to be somewhere here. And how far is that? It is going to be one third. That's again, people already had that evaluation. This is, if this is going to be the base, if I consider this is B, this is H. So this is going to be third of H. Okay. And then how about this distance? This distance is going to be third of B. Alright, so we have those. So for triangle, the rule is for centroid, for right triangle, it's going to be one. 
it's gonna be close to I call it is close to the fatter end right so it's gonna be one-third from the fatter end regardless is from base or height okay so knowing that we can come over to look at this triangle right here this triangle now red dot is going to be where centroid is located so it's right here and we are reading this red dot based on this x y coordinate so x coordinate in terms of the x it's right here and we know it's this is going to be one third of this entire length and that entire length is 20 so it's one third of 120 it's 40. Again, this one-third base and one-third height for triangle is something engineer needs to know. Now let's look at this red dot y coordinate, which is right here, right? And then that one is going to be one-third of 60. However, you're reading the coordinate based on this x and y coordinate. And this y coordinate right here is a negative. And that's super important you are reading that as negative okay so the answer for that will be negative 20. so watch out for the signs i want to highlight this it's important and i also want to go back to the semicircle that 80 above it for reading the right coordinate for y those are important and often often those are the mistakes now let's go to look at the uh, triangle area. So that's going to be half base times height, half of 120 times 60. So we have 60 times 60, 3600. Okay. Now we're going to look at the circle that's been carved out. Again, that is emphasis. It's important to have a minus there. Let's take a look. What's the x coordinate? And if we are looking at, we are looking at this semi, uh, this circle. We know its coordinate is going, its centroid is going to be right there, right, based on the symmetry. Then we're reading that coordinate. So x coordinate will giving us to be half of the one twenty, so it will be sixty, and the y coordinate read across is going to be eighty. And area, since all those are positive area, this all the above is positive area, this is going to be minus because it's carved out. That area is pi r square, and r here is going to be this r that happens to be 40. Then put into calculator. 1600 times pi then we have 5024 and again don't forget it's a negative value and to make a note that's very important okay so we have all of those and then thinking about in order to go back to solve this x bar, we have x delta, we have our y delta, delta a, and then we need to actually find the product of x delta and delta a for each individual area. We also that's the numerator. We also need a y delta times delta a. So we need to go ahead to do what for this x delta right here. It's going to be x delta is 60. Our delta a time is 9600. So that's going to be another value we needed to calculate. So 9600 times 60. That will give us a huge value, 576,000. So we'll do the same thing for y delta, which is 40 times 9,600. We have 384,000. Then do the same thing for the next values. x delta, 20 times delta a, 
five six five two. Then we'll have one hundred thirteen thousand forty. Then for y tilde, one hundred five point four eight times five six five two. I really started thinking about this would be great if I were doing this on Excel, right? So I would encourage you for the next problem or even for this one using Excel, then that would be quicker. Five nine six one seven three. Okay. Now move on to the next for a triangle X tilde forty and delta A thirty six hundred. And uh, we'll have that value. Then for y tilde would be negative 20, right? It's negative times 3600. Then we'll get a negative value here, 72,000. Then for circle has negative area, so it's 60 times negative 5024 we'll have negative 301 440 then for this y tilde is 80 times 5024 we'll have negative 401920 so we have all those together then go back to our governing equation here in order to find the x bar we need find the product of each term which you already taken care of and then you're going to do sum them all up so what we're going to do we're going to add additional row this additional row is going to be summation row and we do need to figure out this, right? And in order to do that, we're going to add all those values, those four products you calculated, add them all together. So go ahead, we'll have 576,000 plus 113040, then plus 14400, the minus, because you're going to plus this minus negative number, minus 301440. Then we'll have an answer here. Hopefully you have the same answer as mine. 531600. Okay. Then while we're going to do the same thing for y tilde delta a, this column, and uh, we're going to... Go ahead, add all those values together. So basically, this is summation of x tilde delta a. And this one is summation of y tilde delta a. When we add them together, let's see what we have. We have 384,000 plus 596,173. Then minus 72,000, then minus 401,920. Then our answer is 506,253. Okay, I think we're almost done, right? Now we're going to solve our problem almost because we got numerator taken care of, but now for denominator, we need to sum up all those area together. Basically get all those four area add together. When it's carved out that circle, we're gonna minus. So we're gonna do this term also. For this column, we're going to add all those area together. So we'll start with 9600 plus 5652 then plus 3600, then minus that circle, 5024, then we'll have answer as 13828. Okay, then we are ready 
to solve the problem. So x bar governing equation. We're ready to solve this composite area essentially. We don't know where it is. We are going to find out. It's going to summation of x delta delta a over summation of area. And we already know summation of all those area is this value. So make a note that summation of all those area. 1, 3, a, 2, 8. Summation of x delta delta a is 531, 600. Then let's go ahead and solve it. 531, 600 divided by 130, a, 2, 8. Then we'll have answer as 38.44. That should have a unit of millimeter. Then same way, we're going to find the y bar. It's going to be summation of all the area. Summation of y delta delta a. That's going to be 506.253, uh, this value, divided by the same area, 138. A to eight. Those are same, right? Let's go ahead and calculate that. Five oh six two five three divided by one three a to eight. Then I have answer as thirty six point six one millimeter. All right. So now one one thing I'm going back to look at my answer. My Y is pretty good, but I'm, X bar is not correct. The correct answer is 54.8, so I have to troubleshoot. Okay, so if my Y bar is correct, Y bar involves the summation of delta A, so I will assume my area is okay. Then the only thing that could make the problem wrong will be my x bar here x tilde here so i go back to look at it um, then i realize my rectangle it is indeed the 60 and my my the semicircle the radius is right here let me go ahead and make a clear Semicircle radius is right here, right? Um, uh, centroid is right here, and that coordinate for x coordinate is not 20. I don't even remember how I got that, so it's gonna be 60 probably from 40 here, okay? And now let's check on semicircle. Semicircle centroid is right here, which is one third of 120. That's good. Um, for our circle carved out, it's right this point, that's the centroid. Let's write that point. Essentially, it is indeed 60. So that's correct. So the only thing I did wrong, I can find out here, it's that semicircle. That will make this number to be wrong, right? So that's will be 60. So go ahead and check on that. 5652 times 60 will get this value to be 339120. So going to do that, this value will not be correct. So I'm going to uh, add this value one last time. 576,000 plus 339,120 plus 144,000, then minus 301,440. That will give me an answer as 757680. So doing that, Seven five seven six eight zero. Then we'll divide to this area one three eight two eight. Then the answer will be fifty four point eight, and that's exactly what we have over here. So that's the entire process of how do we solve this centroid shapes. If we have common shapes, we break up them to the common shapes. And we list this table. And while we're working on this, we learn two new things. Semicircle, where central that is, it's going to be 4 over 3 pi. And for right triangle, it's a third of base, third of height. And uh, 
then we use this governing equation to solve them. And the very last thing is if you don't have your correct answer for multiple choice, you go ahead to check. I learn how to troubleshoot. All right, that's all. Hopefully.